Good morning, good morning, good morning. That is actually my first sip of tea this morning I'm having with you. Um, it was an amazing night. Some really great group of people. I'm really looking forward to the Evidential Medium course uh, for the next month. First class down, so excited. For those of you in my area, Crystal Clear Health and Wellness is actually moving this weekend from the Loop Road location to the corner of Seymour and Holly. So I hope you will join us over there for all the services and all the practitioners and myself included. So I'm um, really excited about everything we got going on locally. And then for those of you who are virtual, who are virtual uh, this weekend, uh, tonight I'm dropping a uh, full moon video on YouTube. And then on Sunday, Saturday night at midnight, I believe, I'm dropping uh, the weekly forecast for next week. So I've not forgotten you. Um, I'm not forsaking you as I'm gone. I'm not going to feel like I disappeared. Um, I've, I've uh, did a lot of recording yesterday, getting ready for going. And um, so thank you everyone for such a beautiful evening. Looking forward to the growth and the development of um, these ladies and where they're going to go and where they're going to take this um, experience and knowledge and uh, their gifts, their gifts. Everyone who comes to me, whether it's the Intuitive Guidance course, um, Learning IET, or the Evidential Medium course, um, you're all at your own place on your own journey. And what's beautiful about it is watching each and every one of you bloom and grow and evolve. Um, and I just am so humbled to be a part of that. And there are so many women um, after a couple of uh, almost five years now giving these classes a couple times a year, I'm really starting to see some um, of my students branch out and, and step into their own power. And it's truly humbling and beautiful. And wow, I just got emotional. Um, are um, not in my area and you're looking for this kind of experience, I'll be bringing it online soon. Maybe even sit down this afternoon and create the event and pick the dates and just get this thing um, on the book so we can start getting those of you who are ready to step into your power, um, the time and day that we'll be getting together for uh, the online version of the Evidential Medium course. So Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you. For those of you on the replay, please hashtag replay. Um, for those of you, YouTube, please like and subscribe. Um, thank you for the shares. Thank you for the hearts. Thank you for the fair exchange energetically. I truly appreciate it. And the stars on Facebook. Thank you for the stars. I truly appreciate the monetary. Um, it really helps me keep everything going. Um, so thank you, everyone. It is Thursday. It's Friday Eve. So for those of you who uh, have a traditional uh, work week, uh, you're almost there. You're almost there. All right. So uh, yes, I will be um, flying out tomorrow. I will be back Monday in-house. So um, I would appreciate any... Um, prayers or uh, healing to help me uh, get rid of whatever this I've still got going on. And also for just, you know, uh, to traveling through grace and ease, traveling through grace and ease. Um, but it, this is not international traveling, so this should be much easier. Um, so thank you. Whew, all right. going to ground here for a second. I was getting a little, um, getting a little something. So let's um, just give us a little Palo Santo. Help bring it down. Whew. All right. <clears throat> uh, let me get the cards that I want. Let me get the cards that I want. We're going to use the Angel Tarot by Travis McHenry. So for those of you, um, thank you, Sherry. Thank you. Thank you. Um, let me just take care of this again. Hold on. I apologize profusely. I hate doing that, but um, it was going to be a problem if we didn't. These allergies, this um, whatever I got going on, it needs to go. Um, probably should have taken some allergy medicine while I was downstairs. We'll do that after this.
So when I was asking to uh, title this, I was getting, you know, when you know. So I'm going to be interested to see what it is we know when we know, uh, what the cards want to bring out to add to that message, because um, All right, so what I'm getting is, this is about trusting your gut. This is about trusting your gut. This is about uh, you receiving clear sentience, feeling through your solar plexus. And your spirit guide is giving you the, the, the course correction, giving you that feeling of no, that's not the right road. No, don't go there. No, don't trust that person. No, um, see through that, right? Um, or no, they've they've already made that promise. They've already told you that. Um, that didn't change. They haven't changed, right? So it feels like you know, and you know when you know. And then the, the it becomes the trusting and acting on it. And I feel like this, um, so the full moon uh, video that's dropping, and Tarot Tuesday and yesterday, um, the death card kept coming out. And it's all about major transformation, right? Death and rebirth. And I feel like for some of you, you've been getting the knowing that you know. I'm so sorry. Knowingness is clear cognizance. Oh my gosh. I am tired this morning, guys. Hold on. So yeah, I feel like you're feeling it in your gut. But for some of you, it's a knowingness. It's in your you're you're getting the thoughts. You're getting the thoughts and they're not your thoughts. And for some of you, you're not able to discern what's your thoughts and what's spirit coming in. And so for some of you, you keep having this thought of it's not right. Um, they're lying. Um, I just know that's not going to be the way they're presenting it, whatever it is, right? And that's what spirit wants you to do. It's like sit down, drop down into your heart. And feel it. Feel that you know. Feel that that thought is correct. That it's not you self-sabotaging. It's not you being mean. It's not. Because you're not a mean person. But spirit is giving you the knowingness because it's time. It's time. It's time for you to not be blindsided anymore. It's time for you to have eyes wide open in a situation that really has not been serving you. Holy cow. Okay. Hi, Anjali. So this is Daily Guidance, and Daily Guidance is a message for everyone. So take what resonates, honey, and leave what doesn't. Um, so thank you for being here. All right, here we go. Yeah. The Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. God has healed. Raphael. Healing. Heals all disorders. Protects travelers and medical workers. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I have Angel Raphael coming in to let me know I'm being protected as I travel, but also that you're healing. And that's why they're giving you the knowingness. That's why they're giving you the, um, this situation isn't changed. This person hasn't changed. Um, giving you the ability to see through the lies, the misinformation, um, the uh, skewed perception, whatever it is, what the manipulation, right? Um, they want you to have eyes wide open now that you have healed in a way that doesn't allow you to take what they say at face value anymore or to just believe rotely what you're told that you now can see through the deception. And it's because you've healed. You've healed that part of yourself that doesn't resonate there anymore. You don't resonate in powerlessness. You don't resonate in unworthiness. And because you are have come into your power, and for some of you, you may not even realized it. For some of you, it may have been a download that happened overnight or a download that's been happening for the last couple of weeks where spirit has been bringing you the transformation of the, the um, emotions and the patterns and the blockages um, at the cellular level that's been keeping you stuck. And it's like you woke up and you can see, 
You can see the deception. You can see the manipulation. You can see and you know. You know the words coming out of their mouth is not in any way, shape, or form true. Because they've said it a hundred times and it hasn't been true. And they're not saying anything new. They're saying it in different ways. Probably a hundred different ways. But it's the same sentiment. And Gabriel the moon, God is my strength. Yeah, and that's where you go. You rely on God as your strength. Divine revelations reveals messages, has the power to destroy. Yeah, so so God is your strength. Gabriel coming in to um, help. Gabriel's coming in to reveal, right? You're getting the revelation. You're getting the knowingness. You're getting the, um, you're seeing. It's being revealed. That veil, that lens, those rose-colored glasses came off. You may not even realize they came off. And maybe you're realizing they came off when they're standing in front of you speaking. And it's like, oh my gosh, I can see it. I can see the lie. I can see the manipulation. I can see where they don't have my best interest at heart. I can see where all they want is my benefit. They want my money. They want my resource. They want my talent. They want my gift. They want my knowingness. So this can be happening in the workplace. This can be happening at home. This can be happening with friends, families, mentors, bosses, whoever. But you know when you know. And so Gabriel and Raphael are coming in to say, we're healing you and we're revealing to you what you need. Because this situation is no longer serving you. This situation is no longer your situation. This situation is no longer beneficial to you. You got what you were going to get from this situation. Unfortunately, now it's time to go. Transfer to another department. Um, find a new place to live. Whatever it is, this is big. This is death and rebirth. This is big movement. For some of you, this is stepping into your power. For some of you, that's signing the signing the lease on your new place. For some of you, this is um, uh, giving your resignation and starting your own business. For some of you, this is um, just seeing signing on the dotted line, whatever that means for you. Um, marrying someone, um, signing a lease on a place, maybe it's a lease of business. Maybe you're going to get a brick and mortar uh, business. Um, you're taking your virtual to, uh, to, to brick and mortar, or maybe you've never had a business and you're just starting brick and mortar, whatever it is. I'm seeing signing on the dotted line for some of you in this energy because you're ready. You're ready to take the, the leap of faith. You're ready to birth the new, right? You're ready to go in that new direction. Um, maybe for some of you that are signing on the dotted line is signing that divorce paper. You know, um, this is, like I said, this is big. This isn't little stuff, unfortunately. This is big stuff. This is growing you. Yeah. Because the seven of wands, the expected God is coming in because you're being liberated. Deliverance from enemies, both visible and invisible. Ugh. And that's why you know when you know. You're being let to know when you know. You're given, um, Gabriel is coming in, giving you the revealing of, of what you need to know. Because it's time for you to be liberated. It's time for you to step into your power. It's time for you to be your most authentic version. And you can't do that if someone is knocking you down all the time. You can't do that if someone is stealing your gifts and talents, taking credit for your work, whatever it is. <clears throat> I like, thank you, Sherry. Thank you. The full moon illuminates what we have hidden. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what's, what's happening here. Uh, the seven of wands is coming in to reveal it, to reveal it. It can't stay hidden. It can't stay hidden because the magician, the magician, the generous God, spiritual wisdom and magic helps one gain wisdom and discover hidden secrets. Yeah. Because it's time. It's time for the secrets to be illuminated. <clears throat> to be revealed that we're harming you. Not only revealed, but then acted upon, right? So maybe you've had in the in the back of your mind or the knowingness that, you know, someone was stepping out on you, cheating on you, um, stealing your talents and gifts, taking credit for your work, um, whatever it was, you know? And now it's like, okay, I can't not see it anymore. I, 
I, I have to do something about it. And it's the magician coming in to say, yes, it's time because it's time for you. It's time for you to lean into your spiritual wisdom and magic. Yeah. You know, you have the wisdom, you have the talent, you have the gift, you have the, um, even in a relationship where there's been imbalance, it's because it's been imbalanced because you've been the, the, the light, you've been the, the one that's able to manifest the financial stability. You're the one that is able to manifest the right people and right situations for your partner. You're the one pulling them up. The problem is, is they, you've been pulling them up. They've been pulling you down. And so now it's time for you to rise back up into your magic so that you can manifest what you want in your life. So you can have the balanced relationships, the true love, the, the financial abundance and prosperity that's been kept from you because you didn't get promoted or you weren't able to get the raise or um, you kept out at, at what you could make and they, they wouldn't give you the next level because you were beneficial. They didn't want to lose you, right? Not, not fair to you. Not fair to you. Selfish of them. Yeah. Alchemy and transformation, the hermit, word of God, creating all rules, natural events, helps with spiritual progress. Yeah, it's time. It's time for you um, to become the hermit for some people where you just pull away from them. You leave them where they are. We're not, I'm not dissing anybody, right? I'm not dissing your ex. I'm not dissing your boss. I'm not dissing your friends or your family. They are where they are. They vibrate where they vibrate. They're holding on to their traumas and dramas where they are, right? They're in fear. They're in grief. They're in anger. They're in victimization. They're in, un in unworthiness, right? Those are all their things. You can't do anything about that. All you can do is do for you. And so for some of you, you have to pull your energy away from them to be able to manifest and prosper and be abundant in your own right. And so you just leave them there. You, you, you love them. Uh, but you may have to disconnect if it's even just a period of time. Maybe just disconnect until you kind of reestablish your own energetic, um, filling up your own cup, right? Getting back into who you are, your gifts, your talents, what you want, who you are, what you believe, right? doesn't mean you can't step back into some kind of relationship with them, but it will be different because you'll have boundaries now. You'll know when they're pulling on you. You know when you know. You know when someone's taking advantage of you. You know when someone's pulling on you for their own benefit, right? And you can now set that boundary and say no. No is a complete sentence. But you may have to do a little hermit in this energy as you um, get back into alchemizing your own energy for yourself, creating your own magic, right? The ability to uh, manifest what you want. <clears throat> So I'm looking at these um, tea leaf cards. I'm going to pull some tea leaf cards to see where this might be um, for some of you um, really impacting your life, okay? This energy of you know when you know. So let's see what the tea leaf wants to bring out. Um, and then just take these how these resonate. For some of you, they're going to like hit the nail on the head. And for some, it's going to be like, that's not me, which is fine. These are, um, I'm going to do several of them. So um, again, Let's see where Spirit wants to um, give us some direction. Come on, Spirit. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> First one out, bear. Danger, especially in money matters. Whew, yeah. This is, um, you know, this is where you need to step back and alchemize for yourself because someone is really pulling on you in the way that's not allowing you to have the finances just trying to see where this needs to go to. Come on. Come on. There it is. Yep. So for some of you, it really is time to take a look at the checkbook and who's in your checkbook. Um, are you being overly generous with someone to your detriment, right? Um, are you giving money where... Um, they need to be taking care of that on their own. Or um, are you spending time with someone who just never seems to be able to cover the check? Uh, whatever it is, right? Really look at um, and being very um, 
auspicious with your money. Good morning, Tammy. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> Bag, something important such as a new job or a raise. Yeah, for some of you, this is, it's time to go towards that bag, that new bag, not the old bag, the new bag, um, where you are, um, these really don't want to. Focus, come on, let's focus. Hmm. I wonder if I need to like, not that I want to, but I think it won't focus because it's got too many faces. I could be wrong. Is it my face? Well, anyway, something important such as a new job or raise is coming out for someone. Oh, that one wanted to come out. Dragon, beware of self-delusion. Yeah, this is where you've got to get very, very honest with yourself, right? You know when you know and start to really um, trust, trust it. Come on. I don't want you to think I'm not saying the right thing. <laughs> there we go. There we go. There we go. I like it. All right. Get a couple more. I'm liking these little messages from spirit. Heart, love, deep affection, and caring. It's time. It's time. So take that how that resonates. Love, deep affection, and caring. All right, this is a really big deck, so I'm going to go to the other half now. So we did some from that half. Now let's get some from the other half. Oh, two fell out. Grasshopper. Situations in balance that require careful handling. Yeah. So this might be a situation where um, you know the other person isn't going to take any criticism. Not criticism, because you don't want to criticize and judge, but you definitely want to speak your piece speak your piece. And so um, do that carefully. And if you need to make sure you have somebody else in the room, just so it doesn't become a, a he said, she said, she said, she said, he said, he said, right? Because when you know and you know, it's always about something difficult. It's always about someone doing you dirty in some way. And you want to drop down into your heart. And you want to speak from that place, but you want to speak. And if you have to make sure that you are safe and stable in doing that, making sure you have um, support, uh, non-interfering support, neutral support, but support. All right. Oh, all right. And dog, far away. A distant friend is thinking of you. So that's confirmation for someone that um, who's been coming into their thoughts is also you've been coming into theirs. And lobster, financial pinch. Yeah, um, it's okay. Financial pinches um, it will be overcome. But this is about, again, getting clear about who's in your checkbook. Who is in your checkbook? Um, and then no is a complete sentence or setting boundaries in the way that you need to. December. For some of you, December is going to be a very um, important month. And to clarify that for you, we got dog, pleasure with a close friend. Um, so something close up is coming in, de in December that's going to really um, be beneficial to you in some way. So um, yeah, I like, I like those for you. Um, something a little new and different on a Thursday. So um, 
If you're in my uh, Auburn area on October 9th, we're going to be doing an IET share for IET practitioners certified at any level, uh, basic all the way up to MI. Please uh, think about stopping in. Um, We're going to be at 54 Seymour Street on the corner of Holly and Seymour, uh, where we're also going to be um, gifting a heart beam to uh, Crystal's new space. Um, I'm looking forward to that. So if you're in the area, um, it's a great way to meet other practitioners, um, bring someone who might be interested in IET. Um, We have classes coming up in March. So we've got a lot of good things going on. And I'm sending you so much love and so many blessings, but take care in this energy right now, uh, three days before the full moon the full moon here on Friday um, in my uh, Northern Hemisphere, and then also uh, three days after. So stay safe out there. Know that the death, the ending, or um, the revelation, it's all helping you to be reborn, to alchemize energies that have not been serving you back into support and positivity to take you on the journey that you're here to have. Happiness, love, financial stability. But we have to know when we know, we have to we have to then act. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Happy Friday Eve. And we will be back. All right, guys. Enjoy. Enjoy.